might as well keep this thing going. Are you ready for your next comedian? Yeah! Rock. Uh, she is originally from Boston, now lives here in D.C. Put your hands together to Allie Cherry! Yeah! For those of you who know me, you kind of have to be here. <laughs> For those of you who don't, I did the math. You paid $10 to get in, which makes my act 66 cents. So if I don't live up to it, you can meet me at the back door and I'll give you a pack of gum on the way out. <laughs> so I live in D.C. Um, I'm one of those people who lives in D.C. that actually lives in D.C. Um, yes, I'm a proud condo owner. What comes with being a condo owner is a tight budget. So I've become quite the do-it-yourselfer in the last two years. Do it yourself being code for fuck it up and then hire someone to fix it. <laughs> yeah, I make a lot of trips to Home Depot. Um, I know when no one else believes in me, those friendly folks in the orange aprons will. You can do it, we can help. <laughs> yeah, um, I think they pick the orange apron look to try to trick you into thinking that installing a new bathroom isn't that different than whipping up a batch of cookies. <laughs> Or it's because every time you realize you forgot a key ingredient, you have to make another frickin' trip to the store. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think of what other professions might want to consider using that slogan, like marriage counselors or sex therapists. You can do it. You can help. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a lot easier to get the man in your life to go if you thought he was going to get a threesome out of it? <laughs> or how about products? Like, slap that on the side of a pack of Rogaine. You know, we all know balding men could use the extra vote of confidence. <laughs> Slap that on the side, and those things will start sounding like hotcakes. <laughs> yeah, um, unfortunately, um, home repair is nothing like sex, unless you call yelling, fuck me, every, loud enough for neighbors to hear, every five seconds. Um, yeah, recently I was working on a, refinishing an old table. So after about three months, four trips to Home Depot, and $500 later, I had me a nice table that was worth about $75. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good, though, or... It will when I finally get around to finishing it. Yeah, so I'm a little, um, I'm a little OCD on the home repair uh, projects. But uh, the other thing about being a DC condo owner, in a word, mice. Do you guys experience the mice situation in DC? It's not like up in New York where they have to put mouse traps in their shoes when they go to bed at night. It was all new to me. So when I finally had, um, collected enough mice pooplets to cover an ice cream sundae, I decided that I would just get used to them. So I got myself one of those black boxes you see on the side of every building in D.C. and spent about three hours in the arts and crafts corner at Home Depot and whipped them up a little home. <laughs> now I have a mini magic kingdom in the corner of my kitchen. <laughs> it's just like Disney World. They don't want to leave. <laughs> All right, I'm really not that crazy, but I do have a little black box. It's a covered mousetrap because I'm scared of them. <laughs> um, yeah, so my, I'm OCD on the home repair projects. I got myself one of those um, orange one, two, three books. You know the ones your your looks like it belongs on your kid's bookcase. Not to be confused, just because your two-year-old can read the title, there's some serious stuff in there, like repairing a new window or installing a toilet, nicely broken down between experienced, handy, and novice. And I'm thinking, what makes you experienced? Have you done it like three times, ten times? Like, if you're an experienced person at installing a toilet, you either do it for a profession and don't need a damn book, or you better get yourself an appointment with the poop doctor immediately. <laughs> What made you laugh? Was it the, fact, the joke or the fact that I said poop? Because isn't it funny how that makes everybody laugh? It's like, poop, poop, poop. <laughs> yeah, um, my favorite part of the Home Depot book, though, is actually wallpapering ceilings. An experienced wallpaper technician can do it in eight hours. Who the hell is experienced at wallpapering ceilings? I don't know. As handy as the book tries to be, it cannot help you fix broken appliances. So my refrigerator broke the first time. I thought it was a really good idea to get three huge bags of ice and keep, put them in the freezer to keep the food cold. The plan was working brilliantly. For about four hours, the food didn't even notice anything was wrong. And then, the ice forgot its job and decided to keep the floor wet instead. <laughs> so the second time my refrigerator broke, I decided to invite the mice over for a dinner party. And we ate about $200 worth of food in 24 hours. <laughs> So after going through the condo buying process, I uh, learned a little bit about real estate. Have you guys ever noticed how much real estate is like dating? 
None of you have. <laughs> First rule of real estate, location, location, location. <laughs> yeah, seriously, like on a first date, after five seconds, you know whether you're interested or not. But you still have to take a tour around the house and act like you're interested because you don't want to make the realtor feel bad. <laughs> seriously, like when you're a real sucker, you get, you, get at, start, you get forced to ask questions you don't actually really want to know the answer to. So you're like, oh, so is that like a gas stove? Okay. <laughs> And all the while, you just can't stop thinking about how you can't wait to get the hell out of there. Yeah. And then there's the courting process. You bring your friends around to make sure you're not crazy. You take a few laps around the block. You know, you try to get a glimpse of the neighbors. Just think you can't buy a beautiful house if you don't like the neighborhood. You're not going to date the guy if he lives with his mother. You know? It's like one glimpse of the twin bed he had since he was a big boy and I'm getting the hell out of there. <laughs> under contract is not really a done deal until the big day, the closing. I'm wondering, maybe we should consider, you know, renaming weddings closings. I think it works. It sends the right message. This house is no longer open for tours. <laughs> People, man, they lie to you. They, oh, oh, you could install a toilet in a half hour. No, you could flood your house in a half hour. That's what people. Some bitch. Okay, we're gonna keep this comedy train going. Are you ready for the next comedian? Yeah.